Japan's finance minister, Kato Hatsunobu, told reporters the agreement represents the G7's commitment to support Ukraine in solidarity. The loan will be dispersed over three years until the end of 2027 in installments, reflecting Ukraine's urgent financing needs. Japanese, U.S. and South Korean security advisors have expressed grave concern about the dispatch of North Korean troops to Russia. John Kirby, the White House National Security Spokesperson, told reporters on Friday that U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan and his Japanese and South Korean counterparts, Akiba Takeo and Shin Wanshik, held talks in Washington. Kirby said the three officials agreed that the deployment is the latest in a series of concerning indicators of deepening military cooperation between North Korea and Russia. He added that the officials called on the two countries to cease such actions. People across Japan are ready to have their say at the polls. On Sunday, they'll decide which lawmakers fill the Diet's powerful lower house. The political fundraising scandal is testing their faith in the main ruling party and many voters are struggling to cope with inflation. There are 465 seats up for grabs and more than 1,300 candidates. The candidates were seen across the nation on Saturday making their final appeals to the public. The benchmark for a lower house majority is 233 seats. The ruling coalition went into the election with 279. Prime Minister Ishiba Shigeru says he'll consider it a victory if the Liberal Democratic Party and junior partner Kometo secure a majority. Nobu Yoshiko, who heads the largest opposition party, the Constitutional Democratic Party of Japan, wants to stop that from happening. There are about 45,000 polling stations nationwide. Those counting begins at 8 p.m. on Sunday. A special coverage of the election starts just before 8 p.m. here on Sunday. Catch Japan Decides for the latest results, analysis, and more. Thank you. 